everyone. So this is long overdue. Also, I am not wearing any makeup at all. I do not apologize for that. Uh, I have a wedding that I'm going to today, and so I'm really excited. It's not a wedding that I'm working. It's actually my sister's wedding. Um, and so I'm just kind of taking my time getting ready today. So yes, this is long overdue. Not that you guys know that quite yet. So this was supposed to be my six to seven week bump day, but now it's like six to nine and a half week bump date. I actually did a bump date on my first day of my eighth week. So that was like almost two weeks ago now um, that I had did a bump date for that. But I ended up deleting that because it, I was so tired and I was all over the place. Also it's kind of exciting because this is my last bump date that I'll be doing that is not live. Um, by that I mean that's not like in real time. Obviously you guys will be viewing these in the past but from here on out the rest of these will actually be during the same time as you guys. Where to start? Let's start with the basics. So the last time I checked in with you guys I was 155 pounds and it's kind of funny because overall I've lost weight but I've also gained a lot of weight. So right now I'm at 154.4 pounds and before I think I was at 155.7 pounds. Um, but in this like last past three or four weeks, I have dropped all the way down as low as 148 pounds, uh, which was actually my goal for the summer. Um, and so lately I've been working on getting my appetite back up so that I'm not drastically losing weight. And so now I'm only a little over a pound uh, from where I started uh, my pregnancy at, or a little under a pound of where I started my pregnancy at. Symptoms. My symptoms have stayed relatively, like not even relatively, like just mild of the most mild. If I did not keep meticulous track of my periods, I would not know that I was pregnant. I can totally see how like the TV show, I didn't know I was pregnant came along. Like I would not know. Um, I, the, so the drastic symptoms, that for me drastic have been an oily face um like i talked before my pregnancy glow has been real like real oily and slick um hi pat burn um but i've had really oily skin but like i have like a little breakout right here and that's it that's all the breakout now you see pat burn again well, that's like all the breakouts that I've been dealing with, so nothing really drastic about that. My boobs have been super tender and painful and heavy. And then shortness of breath, still dealing with that. Lately, another thing that has been happening is I've been going through ebbs and flow of just energy drain. Um, so it was really actually more between the uh seventh week while i was in colorado and part of that was also due to hypoxia because i just don't do well in high altitudes and um so all of the seventh week i was just flat drained i didn't really do much you'll see that in my colorado vlog and then for part of the eighth week there'll be times where i would just crash and then i'd come back up and have like a whole bunch of energy and then i would crash again um and so that that has been annoying but that's all the symptoms that I've really been dealing with. Um, my appetite has actually come back. My appetite started coming back on the eighth week. Um, like halfway through the eighth week, my appetite started coming back. And so now I'm like, actually, I can actually eat <laughs> like three times a day, at least at this point. One thing I have noticed is if I don't eat right now, then I start to gag and like almost vomit. Um, and so... I think that's kind of good you know at first even was concerned but I think I might have talked about this before but I'm not sure um, like basically I can go a long time without eating if there's something that I'm focused on because I get like just tunnel vision which led to a lot of problems to me passing out before like I would just work 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 until I passed out from not having enough food now I can't even get to that point because as soon as I do get hungry like my stomach starts to like come up <laughs> and so it forces me to eat because as soon as I get something in my stomach then all feelings of sickness goes away 
sex of the baby. So, we do not know the sex of the baby. It's too early to know the sex of the baby. This is a question that I've been getting a lot from people who know that I'm pregnant right now. They're just like, do you know the sex? And it's just like, no, I do not know the sex. Um, I have a hunch that it's a girl. It just feels like it's a girl. Um, and I think partly because I also want a girl. But before I even knew I was pregnant in San Diego, I was having like these really strange dreams when I was ha like that I had a kid with me and the kid was a girl. And so just from like those dreams that I was having and like other feelings that I get to, I strongly feel that it may be a girl. But we don't know. So um, yeah, there's that. There is the possibility of us finding out at around 12 weeks if we're having a girl or a boy or intersex child um, through DNA testing. It's called the, I think it's NIPT. I'll put the actual name below because I've got pregnancy brain. That's another symptom that I'm having. I can't remember acronyms or anything. Week eight is actually when we had our actual first real prenatal appointment. And it's it was about an hour long, mainly going over family history and things like that um, to determine whether or not we should do some of these other genetic testings and whatnot. Uh, everything looked pretty good. Um, my health was looking like it was in great shape as well, and so that was good. And then the following Wednesday, um, we had our first prenatal appointment on Monday. And we got we got back Sunday, had the appointment Monday. And then on Wednesday, we actually had our first ultrasound, which was really kind of weird and amazing at the same time. Um, like at that point, you know, we knew that I was pregnant. We knew that how far along I was uh, for the most part. We were kind of confused by the number that we were given by the first OB that we saw, um, but she just wasn't sure. And so um, we got the date confirmed of when the due date <laughs> is supposed to be, even though children hardly ever come on time. It was just really kind of surreal because up until that point, we knew that we were expecting, but it still didn't feel real to us, and yet we still had to deal with like all the emotions of new parents. Um, <clears throat> so actually getting the chance to see and see that they were all right was, it was a different experience. I'm not sure how to describe it because it's a whole bunch of emotions wrapped up in one, you know? There's still the fear of, holy cow, I'm actually gonna be a parent and I still don't even like children. And then, oh my goodness, I was able to do this after being told, you know, all of my adult life after my first miscarriage that you're probably never gonna be able to carry a child or get pregnant, much less carry a child at the term, and then to see that everything is all right, you know? It's overwhelming and peaceful and scary all at the same time. I'm rambling, this is probably what you guys want to see. Here is, uh, try to block out this light, but that's not gonna help. Here we go. Here is our little peanut, there, and then there's their yolk sac and the umbilical cord. But yeah, they are at a perfect length. Um, the date that they measured them at is the date that we got for uh, how far along I am, so everything seems to be in perfect order. Uh, we got to see their heartbeat, which was really cool. Um, I will leave actually a clip below, but you can actually see uh, almost pretty much the entire thing in my prenatal appointments vlog, which will also be up by now. I'm gonna be spamming you guys, like, I'll have all of the pregnancy vlogs that I have done in the time that I've gotten pregnant and my bump dates up at the same time and our announcement video <laughs> at the same time so you'll get to see it all. I think that was 
the big majority of just everything going on uh, for week six through nine and a half. Oh my goodness, the first trimester is almost over and that is kind of crazy. I know you guys are interested in seeing my bump. I'll try to get uh, as good of a shot as possible. I realized that I put on my romper. Yes, this gorgeous romper. Um, I realized I put on my romper and doesn't really work out well for bump shots, but I'll try to get as good as one as I can. So still not really showing yet, um, but that's to be expected. But that is it. If there's anything you guys would like me to address for the next bump date, the next bump date should be coming out fairly close to when this one is released. Go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I will definitely look at those and address them um, in the next video that I do. If you guys have any questions at all for me, um, I'm more than happy to answer them. But yeah, that is it for this bump day. I'm going to try to edit this down to be less than, <laughs> to be less than like 15 minutes or something like that because I hate long videos as well. And a lot of the videos I've been doing lately have been long. But anyway, that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.